Hey, what up, what up, what up? So I feel like the uh, coating craze has um, died down. I guess it's been many years now, but uh, when I first started my YouTube channel, it seemed like maybe I capitalized at the right moment because, looking for my dog. Uh, seemed like I capitalized at the right moment because the channel sort of exploded because there was this humongous, I think, push and interest in coding and like, this was like right before the everybody can learn the code thing and like Zuckerberg saying that everybody should learn the code and politicians saying that like learning the code was going to be like basically learning to read. Uh, and if you fast forward to today, you know, after the great resignation and now all the layoffs that have followed, it feels like not everybody's trying to code no more. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but every, I think there's still a pretty good interest in it, but like people are quickly seeing that if you don't have a college degree, and in many cases, even if you do, um, a lot of places aren't trying to hire. We have this push now for generative AI that can write code pretty damn well, uh, and certainly better than some junior developers. So where we used to have junior developers like scratching their head and working on like a a unit test that they can't get to pass or something for a week or two weeks or something. Uh, now there's like really no excuse for that. I mean, the documentation for, well, e even if the documentation is not there, I mean, you should be using ChatGPT or Copilot uh, or talking to your, your coworkers. But I would also say the web technology itself has somewhat slowed down, right? There used to be a new JavaScript framework that everybody was talking about like every day, it seemed like. And if you fast forward to today, it's still just React and Angular for the most part. So I think that's really settled down over the last few years. So the documentation for these tools uh, are a little bit better. So even as they progress and the, document, you know, the documentation changes, they're still better than they used to be. So, yeah, I mean, going back to my original point, I feel like a lot of places aren't trying to hire junior developers that they have to spend a bunch of money tra uh, training. And I've said it all along, really, like if you wanted to get a job in the field, you have to build projects and build complicated projects. And that's, for me, the best way to learn. Some noise out in the woods. I don't know what the hell that is. Um, but yeah, so I think, you know, times have changed, you know, we, we don't have this, everybody can code anymore. I don't really hear about it as much. So I'm curious what you all think about that. I was actually talking the other day to another developer and I was like, remembering back in the days when. I mean, I, I, I remember, I used to code with something called, like, I think it was called Crimson Editor, and I'd write Perl scripts and some HTML and stuff. And, like, we didn't have any debugging tools inside the browser. We just had, like, I was, like, console logging everywhere and really didn't even understand stack traces all that much, I guess, when I was first getting started. Uh, but the editors, like, they were very, very scaled back, and they didn't have all the debugging tools and capabilities. And something like Visual Studio at the time did, but you needed like a Bible-sized manual in order to learn how to use it. At least it felt that way to me when I was a beginner. And then you fast forward to the day, like the browsers have so much, like, like the browsers themselves are much better editors and debugging tools than the best we had just 10 years ago, or even, shit, probably five years ago. So... As technology has gotten better and the tools have gotten better, progress with software has still sort of stayed the same. It's very complicated. There's a lot of vagueness. Um, the business requirements constantly changing. And then, you know, things are just being, are just getting more complicated. So in my opinion, as ChatGPT and other coding tools come along, the complexities of what we're going to be building and dealing with are just simply going to change. So we'll do more complicated things that weren't really possible 10 years ago, but the job description is just going to be doing all this like ninja magic. And we're going to look back on the days when we used to code without AI.
At least that's the way I think it's going to be. Um, I think there's more of a likelihood of that versus like millions of coders being out of a job because ChatGPT can do it better. I think you're going to have good coders that are going to be able to use this prompt engineering better than non-coders. And it's just like we have today where you're going to have people that simply understand the logic um, and, you know, abstract patterns and just debugging skills and learning how to use the tools better than other people. And they're more efficient than beginner programmers or people that are not as well trained. And I think you're going to see the same thing with AI. Um, you're going to have people that use those tools effectively. And for me, I'm actually using it on a pretty regular basis. Like ChatGPT definitely helps me write unit tests. Uh, it's a quick way of just copying and pasting a snippet of code and asking it to, ch to do something different with it. Uh, and even when it doesn't get it right, it still can sometimes point me in the right direction. And I think about things in a different way, just like IntelliSense, but I think, you know, just more capable. So does that make my job easier? In a way, yes. But I'm just going to be asked to do more. And that's going to just be constantly evolving, in my opinion. So, yeah, going back, I feel like the whole coding, like learn to code, everybody can code, has certainly diminished. And a lot of it is just simply a down economy. But now you have a down economy followed by these AI tools. And I think a lot of beginner developers are probably um, just, uh, I guess, disenchanted or just, uh, you know, not really happy with the long-term economic forecast of being a software engineer. But you still build projects and you're going to be good to go. And then the last thing I'll say is I know that the market is uh, worse than it was before. My biggest indicator is that I used to get recruiters multiple times a day, like reaching out to me on LinkedIn or email or something like that. Like, and I say multiple, probably at the peak, like 15 emails a day, it seemed like. And then now, instead of it being recruiters, I get a bunch of messages from people that I don't know from across the world and all this, like asking for jobs. And I haven't really seen that literally in my entire career. So I would say things are not all that great out there right now. But should you still learn the code? I think so. If you enjoy it and you're good at it, for sure.